oral tracheal intubation with a Macintosh blade. Macintosh is a curved blade. First thing you want to do is gather all your equipment. You will gather your Macintosh blade along with your handle. Also, you will need your endotracheal tube with the stylet. You will need a syringe to provide five to 10 milliliters of air, a lubricant source, a tube holder, and tidal CO2, an AMBU resuscitation bag, your suction source. Also, you want to make sure that you're fully prepared with batteries as well as a bulb just in case your laryngoscope malfunctions. Before you begin your procedure, make sure you use the standard precautions. You want to clean your hands with soap and water or your advanced hand sanitizer. You want to make sure you have on a pair of gloves, face shields if needed. Make sure your patient is positioned. Put the head in a sniffing position, making sure you do not hyperextend the neck. Remove any dentures. First, you want to ambu your patient. Looking for good chest rise. You and your assistant will assist in this procedure. As your assistant prepares the endotracheal tube, the assistant will check the integrity of the cuff by inflating air into the cuff, making sure that the cuff has no leaks in the, in the cuff. If no leaks are found, deflate the cuff. Make sure that the stylet does not protrude out of the end of the endotracheal tube. Also, make sure to try to keep this area of the end of the trachea tube at the Murphy's eye as antiseptic as possible. Your assistant will be there to assist you in the procedure. Your assistant will hand you the end of trachea tube. Your assistant will also hand the blade. During the procedure, you will use your left hand to in, in, go into the mouth and visualize the vesicular, making sure you do not lean back on the lip or teeth. When your partner is ready, they will ask for the ET tube. You as the assistant will provide the ET tube to your partner. Insert the ET tube. Visualizing the vesicular. If needed, add cardboard pressure. Remove the stylet. Inflate the ET tube cuff, attach the entire CO2, attach your ambu bag, and look for chest rise. Make sure you also take the chest and listen for bilateral breath sounds. Also, auscultate over the epiglos gastric area. And if you hear sounds in the epigastric area, you will stop and booing, deflate the cuff, remove the endotracheal tube, and redo the procedure again. 
Here you see unilateral breath sounds. At this point, you will deflate the cuff and draw back your ET tube to achieve bilateral breath sounds and chest rocks. Now we have bilateral chest rise. Once we have achieved bilateral chest rise, now we will attach the tube holder. making sure that the tube is firmly secured. Once the tube holder is in place and you have the tube firmly secured, you will attach your oxygen source, whether it's a ventilator or ample bag. Next, you will dispose of your PPE.